Hello team, welcome back to Cook on Budget YouTube channel. On this channel, you learn how to make sumptuous meal regardless of the amount in your pocket. Cook good food without breaking the bank, okay? And we also do so many other things that is related to your kitchen and yourself, just like what we're about to do now. So on, so on to this video, we are going to be making wet and dry starch so if you're the type that likes starching your cloth this is the time for you to learn you know how you can save some money from buying it from the market yeah by doing it yourself at home just a very simple method you can make the dry one and store it up and use it at any time that you want okay if today is your first time of coming across this channel you super duper welcome please kindly tap the red subscribe word below this video and subscribe at once and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on anything this channel whatever on our board so you learn different things like i said yeah healthy meals as well all right you could also be seeing other videos that i did i made on um teaching people how to cook without seasoning cubes yes i don't use cubes in my dishes yeah okay so but that's not the reason for this video so let's just get dived into this already i'm already peeling the cassava you just need to get some um, fresh cassava from the market or if you have farm or garden you know near your house you could just you know try to cultivate some cassava yes and when it's matured you just get some some tubers of cassava and then peel it wash it well then peel it off and then grate it use a grater to grate it right and then after grating it you just use uh what do you call it your sifter some people call it sifter or you call it sieve you just use it to press the juice out of this you just press it out and then this uh, the main cassava itself you can still use it for something else so do not rush it you're going to still see another video that will be up here soon you know where i showed you what you can do with the main cassava rather than discarding it there are so many things you can turn it into fufu you can turn it into um, um, cassava cake yeah all right so but what we need from here now is just the juice and that after extracting it you use the sieve to just you know extract it from this uh, cassava itself and then you keep it just keep it to settle for maybe one hour or two hours or anytime you have chance just keep it somewhere anytime you have chance go back to it it must have settled and then all you just need to do is to decant the water and then you know you'll be left with your starch now it's fully settled so i am going to decant the water and then you see our starch neatly settled yay so this is the starch okay now if you're making a wet starch you will just have to stop at this level use hot water and make your starch just as you make your pap and then mix it in the cold water and starch your cloth but if you are making the dry one that you're going to store and then use at any time you want then the process continue from here so just because i want to show us how to also make the wet one like your pap i'm dividing this into two so i can make the wet one as you know to show you how you can make it and then use it for your cloth in case you're not used to this and then the remaining half i'm gonna just dry it 
this is just the process of getting the dried one at this point it is still wet and you could see you know how starch behaves just like your custard even when you have it, still, it has water in it it's still strong you know to move until you you put more water to make it really um um and dissolved which can also settle back once you drop it so now i am piecing this and after this i'm just gonna you can dry it you know in the sun for faster you know drying but i just left this one in the kitchen and it stayed for um few days just because i didn't have time it's something that could have also you know been okay just within 24 hours so after that i brought it out and then um pieces it and then use blender to you know pulverize it to make it you know be in powdered form and with that your um dry starch is ready just look for a container an airtight container and then um bottle it cover it and then use it at any time you want all right if you don't have blender to do this you can also use something like maybe a bottle put it in a nylon and then try to mash it but blender is usually easy because this one was over dried so i needed something stronger to be able to pulverize it very well and with this guys your starch is ready i hope you have liked this something from this video please do not forget to subscribe just subscribe and help me share this video someone else your friend might need this knowledge help me to share this video to your male friends especially yeah like and drop me a comment until i see you in my next video you stay safe and bye bye